Today I have the distinct pleasure of speaking with Mark from Syata Mobile. How are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? Mark, let me start with congratulations. Your stock's up 25% and you just announced your first purchase order with a Tier 1 U.S. cellular car carrier. Markets responding very positively to you. Tell us more about this deal, please. We've been working for the past two years to uh, launch at U.S. carriers. Uh, we launched at Bell at the end of last year. Uh, this is a very long process and very few companies are able to actually achieve device approval at the U.S. carriers. Um, so we actually got our first purchase order from one of the largest carriers in the United States um, to do a, a trial with one of their leading customers. And that was the PR that we put out. Um, we're going to be launching our product with AT&T. It's already public information. That was part of the PR that we put out. Um, but we're going to be launching both with the AT&T network and also with the first responders network, the first net network. So between the two of those, it's a multi-billion dollar opportunity for us, and we're very excited about it. Well, obviously, the market's appreciating that. I think we've noticed your, your, your volume is up, too. You're doing about a half a million shares a day. Is that correct? Uh, yes, and what's interesting is that we're starting to see a lot of volume coming in from the United States. We're also traded on the OTC. Um, so we see that U.S. investors are also starting to get involved in the stock. And we think that we're going to have a very good story for U.S. investors, and we're going to put a lot of effort into making sure that the U.S. market uh, knows about our story and uh, to get U.S. investors also involved in the company. Uh, of course, one of the critical points you just made was that this deal took two years to make. I think the market, a lot of people invest in the market. They don't realize how much work it actually takes to achieve some of these major milestones. And this is obviously Correct. a major milestone for Syata. Correct. We're going to be working this year, and our goal is to be working with the two largest cellular carriers in the United States. Uh, it's not trivial for a microcap company like Syada to be able to partner with carriers of that scale. And we think that that's really going to assist us to grow our revenue and to grow the visibility of the company. We think that it's going to be very uh, good both for the company and for its shareholders. Well, with your market, with your uh, stock moving as quickly as it is right now, is it too late to get in? Absolutely not. We've just started. Uh, you know, we think that we have a very bright future. Um, we think that we're going to have a major uptick this year in our in our sales, uh, both in our top line and our bottom line. And we think that that's what's going to affect the stock at the end of the day. Uh, we have a lot of news that's going to be coming out over the next couple of months, and we think that we're just getting started. You know, the mar the, the market cap of the company is still around fifty million dollars, uh, which is very low. Um, and we think that uh, there's a lot of upside, a lot of upside going forward. Well, our, uh, our analyst uh, described you as uh, your new UV350, allowing drivers to keep their eyes on the road and hands on the wheel. Maybe we can use that as a platform for you to quickly introduce Syata to those out there that may not be familiar with your company. So we have created a new category within the cellular device community. So you've known until now feature phones like Nokia phones, basic phones. You've seen smartphones like iPhones and Samsung phones. Uh, you've seen maybe rugged phones that you know you can drop them and get them wet. Uh, we are the first company to have developed, and we're starting to sell now, a smartphone that is dedicated for commercial vehicles. So it's sort of an IoT device, and it's sort of a smartphone. Uh, it is a device that gives the ultimate communications for commercial vehicles. And just to understand the size of the market, there's over 10 million commercial vehicles in the United States, and there's over 3 million first responder vehicles in the United States. So we're going after a market just in North America of over 13 million commercial vehicles, and we're the only ones that are doing this. There is no other company that has anything like this. Um, and as I said, you know, we've been developing these products for a long time. We've been doing certification for a long time. And I think that now it's really going to pay off both for our investors and for the company, because as we launch in these large scale markets, we think that it's going to be you know, a very compelling company, a very compelling story. Okay. Well, with such big news this quarter, what should, dare I ask, what's coming up next in the next quarter? So, you know, you're going to see a lot of news come out on various, you know, launches that we're going to have, various customers that we're going to have. Uh, just so you understand, the ASP of the products that we were selling until now was around $200. Uh, the ASP of the current product is over $700. Uh, so just, you know, just to give you a, a size, uh, the ASP is more than triple than what it has been historically for the company. Uh, so we think that that's really going to impact our sales and it's going to allow us to grow the company much, much quicker. Our gross margin is far better now than it was in the past because we have such unique products. 
Uh, we sell the device. We sell various peripherals for the for the device. We sell warranty packages, uh, and we think that it's going to be a really really exciting story for a little TSX company to going into you know the United States, partnering with some of the largest telecom companies. We think is going to be a really exciting story, not just in the coming quarter, but in many quarters to come. Well, I'll tell you, Mark. Thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations again. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it.